months, the restaurant stocks were the hottest group in the market because the price of oil was plummeting. This group is one of the most direct beneficiaries of cheaper gasoline. But once oil started rebounding a couple of months ago, the restaurants, boy, they went radically out of favor. Take Sonic, the burger chain with more than 3,500 locations across 44 states. When Sonic reported in late March, the company delivered some of the best numbers of the quarter. 11.5% same-store sales increase. Not to mention gigantic buyback that gobbled up 4% of the company's share count. But Sonic's management was conservative, so instead of rallying, well, the stock got slammed. And it's been in the doghouse ever since, currently down more than 17% from its March highs. Puzzling. So now that the stock has pulled back, is it time to do some buying? Sure, the price of oil is rebounded, but it's still well below where it was a year ago, which means the consumer has plenty of extra spending money. And as we know, Sonic itself is a well-run company. Terrific concept. And uh, though it's in 44 states, its locations are much more highly concentrated in the South. It's got a lot of room to expand. Now, the stock has given us a fabulous 37% gain since we last spoke to the CEO a little more than 10 months ago. But it's gotten a heck of a lot cheaper in the past couple of months. So let's dig deeper with Cliff Hudson. He's the chairman and CEO of Sonic, who last month celebrated the 20th anniversary of his taking the helm. And he's been at the, at the chain for 30 years. Mr. Hudson, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. It's a pleasure to be with you. Well, Cliff, it's great to have you on. First, um, there was a surprising announcement today because it was not April Fool's Day. Uh, this recent announcement. McDonald's may be developing a taste for a new ingredient as it fights to reinvent itself. Kale. You guys had a kale announcement last year, didn't you? Well, we had a kale announcement, but it was uh, April Fool's Day, as a matter of fact. We said to folks, try our kale shake on April Fool's Day. So, uh, But, in fact, we didn't follow through with that. We had a little fun with it. And uh, but it, nobody it, asked for it either. So. Right. Well, I mean, what I'm, I'm trying to figure out, you guys are doing because the stock's down. People are saying, Jim, something's wrong with Sonic. All that I see of you guys have been doing exactly the same thing that you've been doing for years and years, which is making big profits, and the market rotated out of the restaurant stocks, not Sonic, not doing the right thing. Right. Our business continues to be healthy. The things that are driving it, the differentiated product, the national media, our two guys creative, our great service at the store level with differentiated food, made-to-order food. Uh, all these things continue on. They were great, great uh, on, on the roll through the winter, and they continue to be on the roll this spring. It's very much uh, part of our DNA. So our business is very healthy in spite of the stock moving around a little bit. Now, one of the things I thought was interesting was in one of your uh, presentations, your day parts are radically different from almost every other restaurant. You've got a huge afternoon business that nobody else has. Yeah, almost a quarter of our business comes between the hours of 2 and 5. But we do focus on breakfast, lunch, afternoon, dinner, and evening, all five day parts. We refer to it as the acronym BLADE. And we do get good business across all five day parts. We promote them separately. We have different products that align with them. And we have different customers that use those day parts differently. So it's a very important part of our strategy. has been for, oh, 15 to 20 years now. And the other thing that you guys do that I don't, no one else has is, is this uh, points of, of uh, personalized service. People don't necessarily expect Sonic to be at the forefront of technology when it comes to the customer, but I think you are. Well, we will be implementing over the next several years, uh, so we're implementing this now, in addition to a new point of sale system, this point of personalized service, this technology interface at the drive install with the average customer, and it will integrate with social media, our own app that the customer can utilize on or off premises for ordering, payment, et cetera, integrates with this the screen on premises, but then integrates with social media off premises. So while we only have this now in about 800 stores out of 3,500 in the system, we'll roll it out throughout 2015, 2016, 2017. And I'm quite confident that that engagement with the customer on and off premises in a differentiated way will kind of mirror what we have with our differentiated food, made to order food, using the technology in that same sort of way. This is really going to help drive traffic and drive loyalty over the next several years in a, in a very sonic sort of way. All right, well, Cliff, I, I think that the, the case for, this, for the company and stock are clear, but the one thing that did confuse the analysts was the buyback, about whether it's done, whether it's really kind of going to go on hold, because you have been one of the most aggressive buyers of your own stock. I'm presuming nothing's changed and that we could get some good news on that front sometime in 2016. Yeah, nothing has changed from that standpoint. We continue to buy back our own stock. Uh, we, as a franchise company, we generate, generate a lot of uh, cash flow, and this is one of the good uses for it from our standpoint. We're very optimistic, very bullish about our business, and we continue to buy back our own stock. But you do, okay, because I felt it wasn't, I thought that the authorization was kind of done for 2015, it would be 2016. Sounds like that you're in there. Yeah. 
<clears throat> there's still a little bit left for this uh, fiscal year, but we'll, uh, in the coming months, we'll talk about next year as well. But the fact is, as our bu business generates the sales that it does, and as a franchise company and a royalty stream and ascending royalty rate that we have, we'll continue to generate that cash and we'll and stock buybacks and dividends will continue to be part of our use of that cash. Well, we're getting a real chance here to buy Sonic. I was quite surprised that it went down so much. I think it's quite wrong. Cliff Hudson, Chairman, CEO of Sonic. And again, congratulations on your 20th anniversary at the helm, sir. Good to see you. Thank you. I appreciate that, Jim. Appreciate it very much. Guys, look, I know it doesn't seem like that it's the right time to buy it because you're thinking gasoline's going higher. This stock is down huge. It is a really well-run, long-term situation. Don't look at it day to day, but I would buy some. May have money's back in the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.